What is going on, YouTube family? We are here with the man, the myth, the legend, Greg Doucette. And we have here, even more importantly, the Anabolic Cookbook 3.0. And so I've seen Greg call out people and say, you can't eat all the food you eat if you were to eat it only from my cookbook. So I am coming out of my show, I'm in my bulking phase, lean growth phase, I'm on over 5,000 calories. So Coach Greg doesn't think that I can eat my bulking calories, over 800 grams of carbs, using only his cookbook items. So his beautiful, amazing chef is actually cooking me all of my meals for today. I'll introduce her in a minute here. But Greg, what do you think, man? Anything I'm gonna be able to pull it off. I think you're gonna struggle with breakfast alone. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of food. Greg's food is very notorious for having a lot of volume to it, so it makes dieting much easier. It's really delicious. That being said, it's hard to eat a big amount of calories because that's what it's designed to do, to make you full on fewer calories with more volume. So we'll see how this goes. I'm a little nervous about it. We gotta do a cycling race as well today. I'm gonna go do a full leg workout. So it's gonna be a lot of things in between. So I gotta make sure I'm like diligent with my timing throughout the day, but I'm excited about this. Thank you, Greg. Mm. I can't wait to see you. And I will be rating the food as I go. All right, this is the MVP of the show, guys. Introduce yourself for my viewers. What's your name? <laughs> what are you all about? I'm Lucia. I'm chef from the Adam Boy Kitchen. I work for Greg, and yeah, we're gonna be here just cooking breakfast. <laughs> so, Lucia is a professional chef that works for Coach Greg. She cooked my food yesterday. Honestly, some of the best food I've ever had. All healthy, made me feel great. Lucia is the MVP. I just want to give her a shout out because she's amazing, so nice, so sweet. Thank you, Lucia. Thank you. <laughs> so I just had, this is part one of meal one. I'm sure there's gonna be multiple part parts to meal one, but we've got some, looks like mango slices here with some Greek yogurt. It looks absolutely delicious. Safe said, I don't have Greek yogurt. <laughs> Safe's behind the lens, by the way, Safe lens. And I was like, wait, but Safe, you had cream cheese on your bagel yesterday, like, cause you said I didn't do dairy. He's like, cream cheese and ice cream. I'm like, that doesn't mean you don't do dairy, bro. It just means you like literally only do the, you like buckle for the dairy you really like. So anyway, we're gonna do some Greek yogurt, mango. Yeah, I'll pop the teeth out here. The Invisalign, so I can be pretty for you guys. Just give us a little bite here. Greek yogurt, I don't know if this is flavor or not, but even if it's not, I'm sure it's gonna be bomb. Fire these mangoes are super good. I'm gonna clear these. This is probably gonna be a joke to start, but I'm sure the next phase is really where it gets challenging. I uh, just crushed that mango. Absolutely sensational. 10 out of 10. So we're off to a good start. Pretty easy. I can crush fruit like it's going out of style. Absolutely love fruit. Comment below, do you guys like fruit or not like fruit? Because I love fruit and vegetables, and I'm not just saying that, but I actually do. So comment below. Fruit, team fruit and vegetable gang or nah? Um, I was eating double the French toast that I ate for my breakfast. I'm so, like, oh yeah, I couldn't eat another plate. So we have the anabolic <laughs> French toast here. So this is protein packed French toast. Looks amazing. What kind of bread do you use? Uh, regular, regular ass bread. bread. Regular <laughs> ass bread. Regular <laughs> ass bread. <laughs> right. Exactly. So no, no frou frou, gluten free, uh, whole grain, multi grain, oat seed grain. This is real deal. Regular ass bread. And you guys use some protein powder, right? So put no, it. Not in this one. There's just lots egg of egg whites. No so, yellows. So just egg whites in this. This is probably very high in carbohydrates. Some protein, but that's what we need for breakfast. So we get some syrup on here. We got some Miss Butterworth. And we'll give it a shot. I think I'm gonna be very pleased with this. Oh, this is, this is bomb. Yeah, especially with the blueberries. Really good, amazing. Not overly sweet. A lot of times when you go to like get French toast from a restaurant, obviously it tastes very, very sweet. And this is not that. The blueberries on top are amazing. I'm gonna give this one 9.5 out of 10. Very, very good. And this is why I cook. Coach Craig, you eat this for breakfast. This is one of, this is probably the meal I've eaten the most in my life. The anabolic French toast, especially with the blueberries, it's my favorite. All right. Let's get this down. 
All right, we got our list here of our meals. We are done with our blueberry French toast and our mangoes. So we're looking like we're close to a thousand calories here, about 150 grams of carbs, 70 protein, only 2.2 grams of fat. You guys believe that? Because they cook it with egg whites. So fat is very low, which is what I need. Dietary fat's low, carbohydrates high. So this is perfect. 10 out of 10 breakfast for me. I'm ready for what's next. Not so, I'm like satisfied, but not stuffed. All right, guys, it's about 11.24. We are at meal two. I'm already hungry. Uh, we're about two and a half hours after our first meal. So I'm ready to eat. We have an amazing looking open-faced banana and peanut butter from Greg's recipe book. So they're not normal peanut butter. It's a lot lower calories. Is it protein in it or is it just? Tons of protein. Four times more than regular peanut butter. All right, so we've got lower fat, Banana sandwich is a lot of food. Uh, I'm not too worried about it though. The eating volume is high and bread is very easy for me. So we've got also these alternative chicken nuggets. How do we make these? Walk us through the chicken nuggets. Uh, it's chicken, chicken breast, and then egg whites and textured vegetable protein on top. It's like a coated up. So this meal is about 100 grams of protein. So. This gonna be a doozy. Let's get through it. All right, so I'm gonna first start with. I'm actually gonna make these into sandwiches. If you're okay. <laughs> double it up. If you're okay with that. Yes, I just thought about that. We're gonna see. All right, let's see. Bro, I love peanut butter and banana. I was eating it since I was like a kid. Peanut butter banana is like literally one of my favorite things mm. in the whole wide world. I'd take a peanut butter banana over PB and J any day. Comment below, Team PB and J. Or PB and banana, I'm team PB and banana. This like peanut butter alternative is so good. Mm. It's made with beans. You, you can put what? so much peanut butter in there. Yeah. Mm? White kidney beans and vegan peanut butter. White kidney beans. It's literally <laughs> the heck? Yeah, vegetarian. Man, my mind's blown right now. Mm. I'm never dieting on normal food items. I'm just I'm the only <laughs> dieting on Greg's Facebook items. Oh my god. Bro. The peanut butter is awesome. It's so thick and you can have so much of it. It's so good. All right, I'm gonna try them straight up because I don't even think they're gonna need sauce because they're so good. They look amazing. Mm. Yeah. Season nicely. Nice little crisp on the outside. Do you use the air fryer or the oven? Air fryer. These are amazing, guys. These are juicy. How, what kind of uh, chicken do you use? Chicken breast. You never know it. So moist. I know people hate that word, I don't understand why. They do too. Yeah. I don't know why either. What is it about? <laughs> Again, comment below. What is it about the word moist that people are so, are so triggered by? Like, it's like literally the best way to describe any baked good or like something that's supposed to be moist inside. Like, it's hard to say anything else. Like, oh, this chicken nugget is so like, Wet, like no, juice, juicy is another word. We never say juicy for a baked good. So yeah, team moist, are you guys for it against it? Comment below. I'm gonna work my way through this meal and I'll check in with you after. All right guys, so I've one half of my sandwich left. One more chicken nugget. I'm gonna tap out here. Psych, I'm not tapping out, I'm chilling right now. This stuff's so good, I could eat this all day. So we got some more ketchup here. Another 10 out of 10 meal for me. Chicken nuggets were amazing. Shout out to the chef. Compliments to the chef. This peanut butter banana sandwich hitting the spot. So one more nugget, one more half. I'm going to take more break, film, and then come back for our next meal. We have to have dessert with our meal. So I have three of these muffins to eat today. I'm probably going to eat at least one of them now. Like these are, I had these yesterday. They're like pumpkin filled muffins. Like I'm going to show you guys in the middle of this. Like, doesn't even make any sense. I think it's only like 100 calories. <coughs> I probably would have eaten my whole 5,000 calories with just these if it was an option. These are like literally some of the best things I've ever eaten. Like, not even like from a health food perspective. I would have these over like almost any muffin you buy in like a store, which is insane. So I'm just gonna eat one of these for the sole reason so I can save my other two for later in there. All right, we just filled some more bangers in the studio. It's now 127. 
um, in the afternoon and we have our salmon. These are were pinwheels, but she left them in wraps for me. So it kind of salmon wraps. Apparently what is what's in die. what's in these salmon wraps? Uh, spinach, cream cheese, onions, mm, capers, mm. and salmon. salmon. Mm. Fire! I love smoked salmon, cream cheese, spinach. I love everything. So these are very very good. It'll be a perfect pre-race meal. I'm gonna race Greg on the Swift. So we'll see how that goes. I'll probably get absolutely dusted, but I'm determined to do at least okay. How it's gonna be a big race. There's like 200 people registered. Oh, Go up? <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I don't know why there's so many. Maybe they know we're in it. <laughs> Possible. All right, last major meal here, guys. I ate a few more of the muffins in the car, so I'm done with the muffins. I actually added a protein bar, so I'm actually over my calories. Now I just gotta finish this beautiful looking lasagna it looks absolutely incredible i'll give you guys a taste test here this is about well, i think it's about 700 grams of carbs right here to finish out perfect for post legs bro that is insanely good got some veggies in here it looks like a little like pesto some chicken perfect way to finish the night so it's about let me see what time it is. About 8 p.m., 7.53. Safe's about to take off for the airport, very sad. But I'm gonna down this plate of food so that we can get the outro. And I will see you guys in a few minutes. All right, that is it, guys. I finished all of the food, over 800 grams of carbs, 5,200 calories of deliciousness. It was so good, a lot of volume, but I can eat, so it was not too bad. The food was delicious. If you guys have not, bought Greg's cookbook. Make sure to do so, especially if you're dieting. Risotto. That risotto literally is one of the best things I've ever eaten. Mm. I've, said, I've said that like four times today, but I'm not just exaggerating. This stuff is so good and literally just perfectly seasoned. It's very light. A lot of his stuff's not super high in fat, but very high in protein. Uh, you would think that risotto is super high in fat because the risotto usually is, but it's not at all. So um, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll be doing more full days of eating, especially with my off season progresses. I'll show you guys probably what closer to 6,000 calories looks like. Hopefully I don't have to get closer to 7,000, but, uh, but yeah, hope you guys love this video. I will catch you guys on the next one. But if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, Mike Safe's Mike almost fell off the camera because I was so serious. Subscribe please guys, it means the world to me. Hit that bell notification. Now I will see you guys on the next video.